my name is Asta Gupta and today is my topic for the presentation is building blocks for the formation of soaps and scented baths. Table of content includes definition, soaps versus scented baths, scented baths advantage and disadvantages, soap advantages and disadvantages, raw material use and ingredients and its role, manufacturing process for the formulation of scented baths and the soaps and evaluations. <clears throat> Let's just talk about what are soaps. Soaps are sodium or potassium salts of a fatty acid and is made from natural raw materials. It is the oldest cleansing agent still in use today. For centuries, it was the only known surfactant. Although synthetic detergents have replaced soap in many application product categories, it has largely retained its importance for skin cleansing. Popularity of soaps is due to the fact that it is relatively milder to skin and it is inexpensive. <clears throat> scented bars. The word scented is derived from synthetic combined with detergent. Technically, it refers to the binding that occurs between different detergents, also called surfactants or tensioactive active agents. Scented soap surfactants are derived from oils, fats, or petroleum products that are processed in a wide range of chemical processes other than traditional saponification. By definition, scented bars are cleansing bars that contain less than 10% of soap. <clears throat> scented bars are often marketed as cleansing bars or dermatological bars. Companies will use them soap free or soap without soap. This can cause confusion, although in a sense, are correct. Soaps versus scented bars. Soaps are economical, vegetable based, natural, organic, great processing, oil benefits, high glycerin amount is present, a skin additives such as shea and cocoa butter is present in soaps, high pH, drying on the skin, poor color. Whereas scented bars have high foam, low color, wider range of additives, pH is neutral, less irritation, synthetic and chemical, processing challenges and expensive. Soaps include the Detol soaps, etc. Where scented bars include the Dove soaps, etc. The advantages and disadvantages of scented bars. Scented performs scented bars performs well in hard water without formation of lime soap. The pH is close to neutral or comparable to the pH of human skin. Many of the surfactants used in the synthetic bars are relatively milder than normal or traditional soap. It can be used by individuals having soap sensitive skin. Whereas disadvantages include they lack lubricity, they are more slippery, they get easily become slippery. Scented bars do not have the familiar feel of soap, which may con consume acceptance probl problematic and very difficult. They are not very popular as toilet soaps. Soaps advantages and disadvantages. They are antibacterial, they are used for cleansing, bathing and washing. It helps skin, it helps to keep skin clean. They remove the dirt, oil, makeup, and other impurities on skin. Whereas disadvantages include uh, its alkaline nature, higher pH, lime soap formation. The, with the hard water, soap loses its effectiveness. It contains, as it contains calcium and magnesium ions, which forms curd, leaving it undesirable deposits in wash basins and bathtubs, etc. Soaps, some in some individuals, it can exhibit <clears throat> irritant properties. Raw materials used are fats and oils, alkalis, additives are <clears throat> antioxidants, whiteners, perfumes, surfactants, fragrants, emollients, antibacterial or pacifying agents. Raw materials, the typical ratio is 80 to 20 with palm and kernel oil. Hard palm is 80% whereas the soft kernel is 20%. We excel at adjusting and manipulating these ratios, creating speci speciality. So, basis with innovative specialty oils and additives, we can use a vast array of oils in our soap manufacture. However, most suppliers will use a standard range of oils as seen below. Some oils that are mostly used in the production of soaps are vegetable oils, palm oil, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, or olive oil. Now, let's just talk about what are fats and oils that are used in the production of soaps. Fat mixture containing saturated, and unsaturated, and long and short chain fatty acids in satiable pr proportion are used. Saturated fast fatty acids with 12 to 18 carbon atoms are used. Example, lauric, mystric, palmitic, stearic, and oleic acid. 
Raw materials alkalized such as caustic soda NaOH, KOH is used in the making of soft soap, whereas caustic soda is used in the preparation of soaps. Potassium carbonate, sodium ash are used to saponify fatty acids. Raw materials, antioxidants, whiteners, and pacifying and perfumes. Antioxidants, they are used to stabilize the soaps against transidity. Example, sodium silicate, sodium hyposulfite, sodium thiosulfate. Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are used to improve whiteness. The pH of the syrup is around 10. The selected perf perfume should be stable in this pH. The general requirements. The composition includes of the ingredients and the composition in the in the range in percentage includes surfactant 30 to 70 percent plasticizer binder emollient 20 to 50 percent leather enhancer 0 to 5 filler 5 to 30 <clears throat> water 5 to 12 fragrance 0 to 1.5 mildness enhancer 0 to 5 opacifying agent 0 to 0 0.3 antibacterial deodorant agent 0 to 2 surfactants primary responsible for cleansing and lathering non-ironing and amphoteric seldomly used Example, fatty alcohols, methyl glucose, ester, alkyl, bentanes, etc. Plasticizer and binders for good processability and using properties. Plasticizer facilitate better extrusion and stamping of cinder bars. Also act by lowering viscosity of the material at, manu at manufacturing temperature, providing lower under pressure. Examples, polyolsters, sorbitant stearate. Binder, what does binder do? Binder do, binder prevents the separation of microscopic ag aggregates anti-caking behavior fillers cheaper ingredients used to reduce the bar cost in case of syndates fillers are not inert ingredients but participate in improving the internal structure and hardness example de dextrin starch modified starch etc disadvantages include rough surface texture loss of slip and loss of attractiveness there are th three types of manufacturing process that takes place in the manufacturing of soap First is cold process, second is semi boiled process, third is kettle process. Let's just talk about what is cold process. In this process, mixing of fat and strong alkali is carried out substantially at room temperature so that little more than emulsification takes place. Saponification is completed after this mixture is run into frames in several days at room temperature. Since there is no opportunity to adjust proportions of fat and alkali cal calculation of quantities to be used, should be made carefully. Let's just talk about what is semi-boiled process. The semi-boiled process differs from the cold process in the fact that saponification mixture is heated to 70 to 90 degrees Celsius using a steam heated coil to accelerate and complete the saponification reaction. As the name suggests, semi-boiled process. There is some heat is required for the manufacturing of the soap. Dyes, perfumes and additives are added at the end of the process to prevent them from evaporating. The process allows the quantity of soda undergoing saponification to be adjusted before the crude soap is drawn off. It also allows manufacturing waste to be recycled, better incorporation of the additives and a wider cho choice of raw materials. Here's the in the saponification cattle, as you all can see, the heat, heat is provided and the oils and fats, dyes and perfumes are in the form in the in the kettle they, they get heated and the crude soap is collected into the frames and then these are the cooling frames through which the soap can be cooled down to the room temperature and the soaps can be made next is this full boil process or semi kettle or the kettle process it is the most important process used in the industry in this process Large cylindrical kettles with cone bottoms equipped open and sometimes it's closed coils as for steams are used. The kettles are often provided with delivery pipes for fats, water, oil, etc. The process includes the four steps includes saponification reaction, draining out and washing, strong change, finishing or fitting operation. Step one, saponification process. Fats and alkalis are melted in a kettle, which is a steel tank that can provide three stories high and hold several thousand pounds of material steam coils within the kettle heat the batch and bring it to a boil after boiling the mass thickens as the fat reacts with the alkali producing soap and glycerin graining out and washing the second steps include the soap and glycerin must now be separated the mixture is treated with salt causing the soap to rise to the top and glycerin to the settle to the bottom the glycerin is extracted from the bot bottom of the kettle in the full boil process of the kettle process there is a production of a byproduct that is grisly. Hence, it is most commonly used. This process is most commonly used and most widely used. 
step third the strong chains to remove the small amounts of fat that have not been saponified a strong caustic solution is added to the kettle this step is in the process is called strong chain the mass is brought to a boil again and the last of the fat turns to soap the batch may be given another salt treatment at this time or the manufacturer may proceed to the next step step 4 finishing of fitting preparation the next step is called pitching the soap in the kettle is boiled again with the added water the mass eventually separates into two layers the top layer is called neat soap which is about 70% soap and 30% water the lower layer is called night gray contains most of the impurities in the soap such as dirt and salt as well as most of the water the neat soap is taken off the soap and the soap is then cooled in the finishing process the soap may be poured into molds and allowed to harden into large slab it may also be cooled in a special freezer the slab is cut into smaller pieces of bar size which are then stamped and wrapped the entire continuous process from splitting to finishing can be accomplished in several hours so here's the saponification catalyst the oils pads and waters the water vapor is like removal of the vapor and vapors and waters uh, added to the saponification catalyst there is a formation of nai gray and neat soap the 70 to 80% is the neat soap which can be removed and the nigri are the dirt and impurities that are removed. these these can be recycled also whereas there is a as you all can see there is a production of a by product that is glycerin extraction is done and and also the recycled brine brine is also recycled hence the evaluation the performance evaluation parameters are lathering amount stability quality density speed of formation machine is smearing slugging hardness rinsability from skin and bath tubs physical stability wet and dry caking um, chemical stability odor color efflorescence skin feel during and after rinsing and drying leather leather feel during washing mildness dermat dermatological compatibility process ability cleansing efficiency etc thank you so much